A video has just come out of Andrew Tate's first ever interview. And to be honest, it's very interesting hearing what he has to say and seeing how the way that he talks and his views have changed. So many activities. Walking tour, we could do a walking tour. Oh, here's someone doing a walking tour. Room service, huh? You do room service to the penthouse again if you want. Ready? Yeah. yeah. I do quite fancy a nice vegetable soup or a salad or something. What kind of man eats salad? What kind of man who exercises? Fuck salad. In fact, I have an anti vegetarian policy in my life. Anything that's ordered to my penthouse must include meat or it's not coming. Absolutely and utterly, I refuse to accept any kind of vegetarianism in my existence. So if I'm ordering, I have to order meat. If I, if we get service, meat is coming. Meat has to come. Vegetarianism isn't real. Vegetarianism still to this day is not a real thing. How do you mean? People say I'm a vegetarian as if it's a reality. It's not a reality, it's a religion. It's a choice they've made, it's a conscious choice, but it doesn't mean they are a vegetarian. A human is not a vegetarian. Humans eat vegetables and meat. So even by the way they define themselves, they're incorrect. Mm. Regardless of whether you agree or disagree with me, you have to understand that defining yourself as a vegetarian isn't a real thing. It's like saying, I'm, I was, I'm a Christian. Cool. It's a religion. It's exactly the same thing. But physiologically, humans are not designed to be vegetarians. There's actually different types of vegetarians. You get the ones who say, well, I don't eat meat because I don't like animals dying. And I don't have that big a problem with them. But then you get the ones who say, meat gives you cancer. Humans aren't designed to eat meat. Meat's killing the earth with greenhouse gases, da -da, and those are the real fucking morons. Humans are absolutely and utterly designed to eat meat. Since the beginning of time, humans have eaten meat. So you want to come along the last 20 years, now we have the science to completely dissect every single piece of food we eat and manage to barely scrape together enough nutrients from other sources and not eat meat and tell me that that's the natural order of the world. Saying you're a vegetarian is basically just saying, I don't understand how the world works. Because at the most basic level of, at the most basic level of, on, of this planet, something has to die for something else to stay alive. At the most basic level of, on, of this planet, something has to die for something else to stay alive. That's the natural order of the world. I'm not saying it's a nice thing. I'm saying it's realistic. It's realism. To just sit and say, I eat cows. Cows die and I, that means I get to live. That means I live in the real world. If you want to sit there and go, nothing should die and I should eat grass. And then, when your body's not designed to do that, you are basically just rejecting rejecting a real world view. To me, if you sit and say, humans should be vegetarian, it's the same as saying, I don't believe in gravity. It's like literally just throwing away any concept and any understanding of, of the, how the, the universe functions. And that's why I have an anti-vegetarian policy. You wanna be around me, you're not allowed to be a vegetarian. The people who are around me understand the world. You have to understand how the world really works. I'm not gonna live with a bunch of people in some fairyland bullshit, thinking humans can live on grass and people shouldn't eat meat. And it's, it's not just vegetarianism, there's lots of things. People say I'm a pacifist, I don't believe in violence. Of course you don't believe in violence, I'm not a violent guy. Until someone breaks in your house and wants to hurt your family, then you gotta get violent. You have to understand that the world needs balance. So pacifists are full of shit, vegetarians are full of shit. Some things that happen in the world aren't particularly nice. War isn't nice, sometimes it's necessary. Killing animals isn't nice, sometimes it's necessary. That's the reality of the world. That's the nature of the food chain. That's how the whole planet functions. To come along and say, oh, well, that's not how it is now because you fucking read something on the internet and stopped and decided to start living on carrots when you were 14. Fuck you. And it's most of the time it's chicks. Some fucking three fucking stone chick who lives on carrots wants to sit and tell me a big man not to be having food. Don't eat, you shouldn't eat that. What should I eat, fucking couscous? Fuck you. So you can, you can live on couscous, I've got shit to do. I ain't fucking powering my body on couscous. What's wrong with you? So nice they named it twice. So, fuck couscous. The point is, vegetarians, regardless whether you agree with me or disagree with me on this, if you're a vegetarian, you're thinking, well, I, blah, blah, you need to at least accept you do not live in the real world. The, the entire animal kingdom functions on something's death for something else's existence. That's how it entirely functions, and you want to come along and say, that's not right. You might as well say gravity isn't real. You live in a fucking fantasy land. Humans eat meat. We're designed to eat meat. I eat meat. Lots of people eat meat. Fuck your carrots. Fuck you. Do a banner. Fuck vegetarians. Fuck vegetarians. I want that banner throughout this whole episode. Fuck vegetarians. I'm tired of their bullshit. So if you're going to order some fucking room service, it needs to have a steak. We'll have a steak. Yeah, a steak. We'll have a steak.
New policy. To any vegetarian who watches this, for every steak you don't eat, I'll eat two. Watch me. I'll hit the gym. Biceps will be bigger than ever before. The souls of dead animals power me. I'll be a unit. I'll be massive. They'll be less than the biggest meat eater in the world. And when I walk up all 200 kilos of meat to your hippie convention and rip all your fucking heads off, you're going to know what, what a real human being is. How is he so strong? How do you destroy a million of our hippie warriors? Because I eat fucking meat. Fuck you. What do you guys think about this? Personally, I think it's very interesting. He seems a lot more carefree and relaxed about insulting people and definitely is more unfiltered. It's definitely interesting to know that we're seeing a much more filtered and toned down version of Andrew Tate in today's interviews compared to before. Also, I do agree with him with his thoughts on vegetarians and also veganism. Most people are very boring and they lead very boring lives. And when you have achieved nothing, you have to latch onto an ideology to try and make yourself feel special. But yeah, it's definitely an issue as a lot of people do it in today's world. There's a lot of people that have achieved very little in their lives, so extremely boring and they feel the need to try and make themselves feel special by attaching themselves to some sort of strange ideology or group of people that are different from the norm. They're trying to force themselves to become special without doing the work. And these people are definitely worth avoiding in my opinion. What do you guys think about this? Thank you very much for watching and please subscribe to the A-Dog for more videos like this.